Welcome. I am Ollie Juno, and this is my Crafty Corner. Um, so, if you are a new viewer, thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoy the video today. Um, if you are a returning viewer, I appreciate you so much for coming back, um, seeing what I've got, um, new to show. Uh, if you have or ha if you have blah, blah, words try the skin. Um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you dislike the video, turn it off. <laughs> um, and if you want, hit the subscribe button. Any support is great. I'm grateful for. Um, and if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll see any video that I post. So, let's go into what I'm doing today. Um, I've got multiple things to show today, to do today. It's going to be a longer video than normal. Um, this is my floss tube. Um, FFOs, finish, um, whips, 2022 plans, and um, so forth. So, this is my end of the year video. Because I'm not, I should get another video towards um, next week, but I wanted to go ahead and get this one done this week. So, um, because all my FFOs will be gone. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to start with today is I'm going to show all my FFOs. I'm going to show all the finishes I've had this year. Um, I'm going to show my whips in progress. Then I'm going to show um, my plans for 2022. Um, like what fabrics, I, what pictures I'm going to, what, yeah, pictures, what patterns I'm going to do on what fabric I'm going, planning on doing them on. Now I don't have any of the floss for any of this, I don't think. Um, I'm, I haven't gone through my little bit of stash that I have, but um, these are just the plans of things that I'm going to start getting ready so I can start throughout the near, the, the year, next year. Oof, the words are going to be hard today. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so, let us go and get started because this is going to be a, lo a lot longer than normal. Um, so I'm going to go where I'm going to make sure my Stitch With Me plans are at the end of the video. Um, that way we can get all the normal stuff out. So first thing I'm going to show is things that I have um, gotten FFO'd. Um, actually, the first one I'm going to show, I don't have it on hand. I only have a picture of the project. Um, I framed it and gave it to my grandpa. It was for my grandmother. It was for him. Um, my grandmother passed away in uh, January, and I made this for her um, because she was she had COVID um, just after she had a stroke, and we ended up losing her. But her name um, was Norma Jean Jeannie, but she always went by Jeannie. The doctors always called her by her first name. So they put up a sign on a piece of paper on the wall saying, Call me Jeannie. Um, well, after she passed, he wasn't able to keep the sign. So I had one custom made because I don't know how to make patterns. So I had one custom made. Just a little thing. Uh, to just to kind of give him a remembrance of that. Um, yeah, so like I said, I don't actually have that one on hand, but um, yeah, uh, but that was an FFO that I did this year. It was the first FFO I did this year. Um, so let us go on with the FFOs that I completed last night. Why did that do that? Okay. 
Sorry about that. My computer kind of glitched on me for a minute there. So, glitch. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is this one is also connected to my grandpa and my grandmother. I completed the pattern for my grandmother for Christmas. I was not able to get the pattern to her before she passed away because of her having a stroke at Christmas. We didn't get together. Um, and then she got COVID, so we weren't able to see her. So she, I did show her the pattern. I don't know if she actually know about it, but um, I talked to my grandpa about it and we decided we would turn it into a pillow. So, oops, it's upside down. So this is my first attempt at turning anything into a pillow. So I think it did okay, but I completed this pattern last year, um, like in, I think it was November about a year ago, exactly, uh, like, November I completed the, the stitch, no, excuse me, I completed the pattern in December, um, because I completed it just before we were going to be able to go to visit for Christmas. Um, so, I turned it into a pillow for Grandpa to put where Grandma used to always sit. We had planned on getting it to him before the end of the year, but never found like my mom kept the pattern at her house and they were gonna she was gonna get it turned into a pillow because I didn't know anything about turning anything into a pillow and then um, she never was able to get around to it because of work so I finally took it and YouTubed <laughs> and created the pillow <laughs> all right so let us proceed so I've got that one um, that we're going to be giving to Grandpa this weekend. And I have another one that I stitched, which I showed this um, finish not too long ago. Um, so it is now FFO'd um, in my own way. I, I know these could be done a whole lot better, but they're my first times ever turning anything into an FFO. So it's just a little ornament. I took somebody's advice. Um, I did a little ornament. I wrapped it in the hoop in ribbon and then I glued felt to the back of it so that it covered. So, um, yeah. So I think that turned out really good. I think Grumble's really going to love it and be something he can put up on his tree um, since he's decided he's too old to take his tree down and put it up every year so it's just gonna stay up so I can have him hang it on the tree and he can always see it all right so those were for grandpa um let's see I tried to make a biscor new um but I failed I ended up cutting the pattern incorrectly. Um, I don't know where what I was thinking or anything like that, but I cut where I couldn't sew it together. So I kind of created an ornament. It's not the greatest. Ah! Yeah. I put the back on there, but I mean, it'll be fine. It's a beautiful design. Um, I think it'll be cute as a little ornament to hang on a tree. And I already decided to do the similar thing with this. Oops, wrong way. Um, this is another one. It's another Christmas gift. This was supposed to be a Biscor new as well, but um, I just really couldn't stitch the back of it. Um, I don't know why I didn't like the back pattern. Every time I got started on it, I kept messing up on it. And finally, I just said, forget it. And I turned it into a little ornament as well. Um, I actually only glued regular fabric to the back of this one. So, that was that. And then... Um, another FFO. I know I'm probably going through these too fast, but I don't know. Um, this is my very, 
my computer is bugging me. There we go. Sorry. Um, this is my very bad attempt at a bookmark. <laughs> um, I know it's bad, but they'll love it just because I'm the one that made it. So I've got it here, but the back is kind of sad. But it'll work. It'll probably just go up and um, on a shelf somewhere. I don't figure it's actually going to be used. I think it's just going to be used as a decoration, which I'm perfectly okay with. And if I ever get another bookmark, I will figure out how to actually do a bookmark. <laughs> All right. And so I'm getting to my last FFO. Um, and like I said, none of these FFOs will be here this weekend. Um, they're going to a new home. So it's like... I've been struggling. I, I've spent 90% of my night the last two nights getting everything I needed for them and getting them put together. <laughs> All right. And so I have my last one, which um, I've actually had this pattern completed for a couple of months now. So I actually had to go hunt for it and figure out where I had safely put it. <laughs> but I have this. I found this um, like little hoop thing at um, Michael's, and I just thought it was go it was perfect to go with this. Um, I just thought the colors were perfect with it because it's you know wood and gold brown light colors, and this is brown and or like golden dark golden colors, and then I put ribbon on it to uh, make it so they can hang it on the wall if they want to. There you go. So those are my FFOs. Um, and then I have a few that are finishes. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That's six F seven FFOs this year and six completed FFOs. And then I've got well, nine, ten, ten. And I've had ten total finished projects this year. All right, so we're going to show this one. This was the second finish of the year. Um, I really love this design. It is gorgeous. I've, I've tried to stitch it again, um, but it was literally like the month after I finished this one. So it kind of got like UFO'd. <laughs> um, but I do think I'm going to do it again, but I think I'm going to do a different fabric because this is 18 count. So I might do like a smaller fabric and see what it turns out like. But this one was really cool and I really enjoyed stitching. So um, definitely plan on stitching this one one more time before I put it away in my forever forgotten pile. <laughs> All right, and I have another finish. Um, this one is actually from um, the one that the person that actually got me into watching floss tubes. Because I used to only watch videos on Twitch. I didn't know anything about YouTube. I never got on YouTube. Um, my family was on YouTube all the time. But I never got on it. I had a YouTube channel that I would like upload videos to but I didn't ever watch anything. So this is a pattern by um, Stitching Jewels Designs. Um, Stitching Jewels on YouTube I believe. Um, it is one of her monochrome pieces. This is a gorgeous piece. It's the first time I had ever stitched monochrome, a um, monochrome design. Um, I did stitch it on 14 count. 
And, um, yeah, it turned out awesome. I do think I'm going to stitch this one one more time. But I think I want to do a darker fabric. Maybe not, I don't know what color, but I do want to do a darker fabric with a different color thread. My thought is, scary as it is, black Ada on with like white thread. Um, I think it would look great, but at the same time, I think it'd be a headache. <laughs> so that's one of those I may get to. I may just not decide to do it. Depends. All right. So my next finish of the year is from Sleeping Luna Designs. Um, she is a uh, streamer that I watch on, on Twitch. Um, I don't watch as often as I did because my hours changed at work and I don't get on as often as I did. But this is um, her sal that she did. It is a um, Sailor Moon sal. Uh, this is the pattern that got me into cross stitching. Period. I won this pattern um, in a giveaway. When I started this pattern, they were already on the second section of the sal. Um, now, I did not finish this pattern till this year, and it's been a year and a half now since I started stitching. I started stitching in uh, June of 2021, or sorry, this is 2021, June of 2020. Um, and I only finished this one back, I think I made, I pulled it out to make sure I finished it in June. And it had been, they had been done stitching it for years. But yeah, this is my very first attempt at stitching. And as you can see, I still have the pencil grid lines that I cannot get rid of. <laughs> but I'm not too picky about that. It's my pattern. I'm not giving it to anybody. I will never get rid of it. Um, it has too much sentimental value to me. And I don't care that it's got pencil grid lines. That just shows that I was learning. <laughs> okay. And my final FFO. And then we'll get into my whips. Um, this is... Baby Cthulhu by Luna Designs as well. Um, I really enjoyed stitching this. Um, this one was a great piece to be able to take to doctor's offices and visits and whatever after I had everything filled in, like the outline outlined. Um, because there was a lot of a very same color. So once you got all the other colors done, um, was the perfect one to take to doctor's visits and so forth. Okay, so that is all my FFOs and all my finishes. So now I'm going to show you all my whips in progress. Um, I, I actually took everything off the hoops. Um, so this is going to be interesting. I have not shown my work off hoops before. I've always left everything connected. Um, but I figured, you know, that way you can kind of give an idea of how much, how big the piece is going to be, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I think I'm going to change up the way I've been stitching. Um, I think I'm going to, like, get some project bags and only have the set things that I want to stitch that week pulled out because you know that way I, I stay focused a little better if it's something that I really want to work on and I want to take the time to switch projects out then I'll switch the project out um, but I do think I'm only going to have like 
three projects in a frame at a time. You know, you know, like one of my really big ones, one of my smaller ones, and so forth and so on. Because, you know, right now I don't have enough frames for everything, and I've got a new start that I'm going to be starting in the next month, or before the end of this month. Um, and I don't have a frame to put it on. Um, and I probably won't be getting any frames for a couple months. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, so let us get started. So, um, I've got my Winter Tranquility. Um, let's see, this is what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. A little bit of, oops, I just turned my screen off. Maybe if I turn it where the power button isn't at my fingertips. Sorry for the glare, but um, this is what the design is going to look like once it's done. Um, I am not doing all the recommended colors. I did change them up because I didn't have some of the colors, but I'd have to, I don't know which colors I changed out. I just grabbed the colors that matched as closely as possible, so that's where I'm at. This week I've gotten, I worked on this for five days. Um, I got 689 stitches on this. This is the project I stitch on when I'm working. Because um, it's a you know, small project. It is on my frame, but it's not bulky or anything like that. So I can easily shift it out of the way. Um, so I normally get right about 100 something stitches on this a day, give or take. So, um, I'm trying to move things so I can set things. All right, let's see. What's my next one? That is that one. All right, so now it is my two dragons. Oh, and for uh, that one. Juju. That one doesn't show up the picture. Do do. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to suck. Okay. Uh, I can't show the picture to this because um, I don't think I have it handy. I don't have it handy, but um, we'll just show this. It's my two dragons. I've got the wings, the blue dragon's wings are showing in real well. Um, I stitched four days on this, and I got 575 stitches in this. Um, I'm working on this diagonal here and going down. Uh, I've just been picking up as I feel the need to. Alright, and so my next one is my Kitten and the Rose. So that is this one. It's a beautiful picture by Nel um, Zindi Nelson. Um, it's a heaven and earth design. Um, it is a really large pattern, so let me unwrap this. All right, whoops, my strings are hanging. All right, so this is here. As you can tell, I got a ways to go before I hit towards the end. I think the fabric is a little longer than needed, but it's still, you know, I'm only, that's one page here. This is the start of the second page on the second row. So, and I think there was like, I don't remember how many pages was in this. I think it was 36 or more, right? I don't know. Hold on. 
do. I mean, look. No, it tells me somewhere. Mm -mm. It's freezing up. My iPad froze. <laughs> so, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's 40 pages. Yeah, this is about a 40 page pattern. Um, so I still have quite a few pages to go on this. And this is the first time it's been pulled off the scroll, the scroll frame since I put it on it when I was on page three. <laughs> All right, so which one? Ah, this is this one. Do. All right, this next one is my Dreaming of Being Human Mini. There we go. It is a gorgeous pattern. Um, I started stitching this one the same time uh, the Stitchy Witch on YouTube started hers. So, but that is where I'm at on here. And, you know, it's not a huge pattern. Still take a little bit of time. But, um, it is on the smaller side of the patterns. Alright, and then my next one is the Freebie Harmony. This is a free um, pattern on Heaven and Earth Design. It is a very beautiful bird. Um, parakeet, I believe. McCall? I don't know what they're called. But, um, yeah. So this is a pretty big one. I do believe I have extra fabric. I'm almost positive I have way too much fabric down here. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But this is where I'm at. So I've gotten um, a little bit into the head, just starting to get around the eyeball area here. So we're slowly, slowly pulling this one together. Um, I don't stitch on this one that much. Um, I do think it's because it's 18 count. <laughs> um, but uh, 18 count, two over one. So, it, it is one of my, you know, I don't pull it out as much as the others. Alright, so, my final project is my pandemic. Oops, too far. This is Long Dog, long dog Sampler, the pandemic. I'm up in page one. Uh, I just finished page one. I'm going into page two. And nice long piece of fabric. That's where I'm at so far. Now I have done a quite a bit of frogging on this particular piece. Um, truthfully, I should have frogged up in here because I was one off. But I was able to complete the stitch without it, like, interfering with anything else. And now everything is 100% back on track. So I left the one stitch off and went from there. Um, but, yeah. I guarantee you I have almost frogged as many stitches as I have put in. <laughs> Um, I want to start doing these on scroll frames instead of the Q-snaps. The Q-snaps are fine, but I have such a problem with the tension. To me, they never stay tight enough. Where with the scroll frame, I get them taut and I get the bungee cord, like the, the cord, metal, mm, the words again. I get the magnetic cord 
um, they wrap around cords normally and I have them stretched across uh, my fabric. And that's what I normally do. I totally have not been telling you my stitches for the week. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to pull the patterns back out. I'm just going to say what I've stitched. On my kitten and the rose, I stitched for three days and I got 500 stitches in. Dragon, I stitched four days. I got 575 stitches, which I think I told you that. Pandemic, I stitched for three days. I got 669 stitches in. The Dreaming of Being Human, I only did 100 stitches and only worked on it one day. And then um, I didn't work on Harmony at all this week. Um, and then I got... I did like 200 and something back stitches on the finish, the, the rainbow finish um, that I wasn't even able to use the back stitching that I did. <laughs> but I got a total of uh, right about 2,793 stitches. So I got more stitches this week than I did last week. Um, which I'm really happy about because like I didn't do any stitching at all on Tuesday night or Monday night. I didn't get any stitching in. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I only have um, winter wrote down on those because I worked on those during the day. So yeah. So that is all of those um before we go into my plans for 2022 i do want to show off some things that i've been doing on the 3d printer i've showed a couple of them a time or two um but i've been working on making thread drops um for one i I like the idea of having a 3D printed one so it's solid and I don't rip the paper because even though I use harder, you know, like thicker cardboard, I always seem to tear the cardboard. So um, we have the 3D printer so I figured I would create my own. Um, so I've got three different types and one that's the same type but it's different sizes so I've been playing with these they're round they're flat on the back you know up raised here you can write on the clear spots here I've been playing around with the sizes this is I think I like the bigger size more than the smaller size but um, I don't know I think it's everybody's preference as well. And then my husband helped come up with this design. And I kind of like it. Um, it's just... Like, I call it the ring. <laughs> like, my thread would go through here. And then any excess thread that I have, like, when I'm, like... I'm not... I have to end my thread and I have leftover thread... I would put it in the middle of here. So I really like this design. And I probably will make um, these for me. Um, but I want, my goal is actually to sell these if anybody is interested in them. So I'm going to get a shop going and see about selling these. And then I've shown my square ones before. Um, See, these were the ones I showed before. They're pointy on the edges. And I was having an issue with that. I'm like, I don't like the pointy edges. So, I, my husband went in and showed me how to round off ends in the program that we use. So, these only have two pointy ends. The one where the hoop goes in and then the one where the thread will hang off of. And then you have this one for that extra thread when you're done with the thread. Um, done with that color in that area. Um, 
So yeah, um, I've got grays, and then I've also got like, it's a blue, but it's almost clear, kind of a bluish tint to it. So yeah, those are what I've been playing around with the 3D printer. Okay, so now that is all of that. So now we are going to get into what I am planning on stitching in the new year um, for 2020 because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven starts planned for 2022 at the moment. Um, I'm starting one next um, this weekend <laughs> if I don't start it tonight. <laughs> But I can't show anything until after Friday. <laughs> okay, so let us go ahead and get started with what my goals are. All right, so I plan on, like, I don't remember, like, I showed these when they were gifted to me. My mother gave me, found these at the Goodwill and gave them to me. She has a 16 count and two 18 counts. And so I have decided that for the 16 count fabric, I am going to do the pattern. It's called Sewing Machine. It's a, these are all design, most of these are designs I got off Etsy. Um. So we're going to do the sewing machine, Oop, focus, thank you. Um, so I think I'm going to do that one on the 16 count. So that's my goal for this. And then I've got this one. Um, it's not a very clear pattern, but you get the get an idea. It is a cardinal in flight. Um, I actually have two others. One is just wings up and one is just flat, which when I complete this one, depending on where I'm at, I may start those as well, but those are not um, guaranteed right now. I do plan on doing that on 18 can't, can't, 18 count, because I have another, we well, yeah just this roll of 18 count um, so I'll do that one on 18 count um, then the next one now I don't know these are not being planned to start right back to back with one another the cardinal may be something that I start and it's my take everywhere type cross stitch because it seems to be uh, more of an easier stitch like I can stitch out a square of color and do a fill on it. That's kind of what I'm Doing um, what's my next one? Multicat that is this one um, I name my things weird things like it. The sewing machine it's just called machine the Cardinals the Cardinal this one is called multicat um, just because it's got a bunch of multicolors. So, um, I really like these. Um, like I said, it, it's another one of those that uh, should be fairly easy to stitch. Would be a good, um, work, to pitch, uh, work project. That way... I don't have to do the same work project throughout the morning. Uh, I can switch it out. That one is also going to be done on 18 count. Um, which that is all of the little counts. Everything else is now higher. Alright. Then my next one. Which, yeah. Is it this one? Yeah. This next one. I might be biting off more than I can chew, um, but it's a sampler. Faith, hope, and love. 
Um, I'm really enjoying the samplers. Um, like I'm really enjoying the pandemic, so I want to try another sampler. Um, and I love that one. But I'm going to try stitching it on the piece of 40 count linen that I have. And I'm not sure, I have to re-verify, but I don't think it's large enough to do it over two. So I may be stitching it over one. So magnifier <laughs> may be used to help me stitch this one. But <laughs> like I said, this may not be one that gets uh, completed on 40 count, but that's what it's going to start on is 40 count linen. Um, this is Z, 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 I cannot say that name. Z, W, E, I, G, A, R, T. Ziegert. I have no idea. Yeah. It's eight yard, 40 count, mallow linen fabric. So, yeah. That is going to be a fun experience. <laughs> All right, so now the next one I'm going to do, like I said, I am not planning to do these in any particular order. I'm just saying these are what I'm planning on starting for the year. So I've got the Rainbow Kitty. I really love the idea of this one. Just those those bright, beautiful colors, I think, is going to be awesome. And it does seem like another one of those. That is a fairly simple stitch. I am planning on stitching that one on 25 count um, ivory. Um do believe this is a piece off of my kitten in the rose fabric. I'm almost positive. I may be wrong, but I don't remember. So we're stitching that on 25 count ivory Lugana. And then the next one is a rainbow dog. I really like this one too. Um, I do think it'll be a good, you know, I, I could probably gift that to somebody for a Christmas present. I am going to stitch that one on 28 count. Um, I have no idea why I wrote that. It says over two, but I don't think I'm going to stitch over two. I'll probably just stitch one over one. Um, all right. And then, oh, yeah, that's going to be on this fabric, um, easy guide. Um, this is the one that I had started my dreaming of being human on, but I did not like stitching, um, the one over one on it because it, for being full coverage, I, it was just bothering me. Um. I know that one's kind of full coverage too, but I think being that it's a smaller project, it's something that I can go ahead and work through where the Haid is a much larger project that is going to take a couple of years to complete. So, all right. And my last planned start, which this one, I plan on starting it in February. So I will be going to go fetch all 86 colors for this particular project within the next month. Um, this is, this is called mini blue rose. So it's another mini, so it's not a full, you know, big, big, big hate, but this one, I have been in love with this one since the day I looked at hate. This was the first one I put in my cart and then decided, no, that is not going to be the first paid I do. So I went through and found the kitten in the rose, which only had 19 colors. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now, it still had 100-something skeins to pick up, but it only had 19 different colors to work on. So uh, I made sure to step in smaller <laughs> footed <laughs> for baits. All right, and I'm planning on doing that one on 22 count. This is uh, ivory hard anger fabric. So let's just 22 count fabric here. There's nothing real special about it. Um, it's not gritted, but um, that's okay. A lot of my stuff is not gritted. I think I've kind of I've got a fairly even amount that are gritted and uh, that are not gritted. Um, and it makes no difference to me if I have to grit it or not. I've got to the point now where I no longer have to put the lines. I only need to put a dot in the 10 mark to uh, know where I'm at. So eventually I'm going to get to where I don't even need that. Um, but, like I said, I've only been stitching since June of 2020, so um, slowly learning the easiest way to count and get to where I need to go without making an error. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, that is all of my stuff. I have nothing else. I have nothing else to show. So, woo! This is was a long one. Uh, I don't. It's about as long as my Stitch With Me's. Um, speaking of Stitch With Me's, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to try to do one tomorrow evening um, to make up for the one that I didn't do this weekend because Christmas week, week, the week before Christmas has been crazy. And then when I get around to do the stitch with me, my husband gets me, you know, has me go down there and like eat supper with him and we get stuck in a movie and then it's like, oh wait, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> but, so, hopefully I'll get my stitch with me done tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I get one on Sunday. That is my goal. Not meaning it's going to happen. But... Tomorrow is Thursday. I just have groceries to get, and then we should be good for the rest of the evening. So I should be able to get the stitch with me in tomorrow evening. Um, I appreciate y'all. If <laughs> if you happen to stay the whole way through, I appreciate you. I'm glad you listened to my rambling and showing things way too fast. I'm sure uh, the glare, the fumbled words, all that. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye, have a great week, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.